There we go. Now I've got some sound. <laughs> what a morning. Everything everything decided not to work after after a little uh, break that we had this last week on our vacation. Good morning, everybody. Hi. <laughs> I'm having fun. And this is going to be our third class on the Otter Spotters with the Monterey Bay uh, Virtual Adventure. And in this class, we finish. This will be the last one. So I'm excited to dive in and walk you through the last parts. And um, also got our, um, our underwater diving app up and running that also decided that it wanted to take extra vacation time today. And so <laughs> I wasn't going to have any of that. That's why we're just a little bit behind schedule. So forgive me for that and glad to see you here again. All right, let's jump in. So uh, let's let's get started with uh, uh, watching uh, otters. What can we learn from them? And I thought it would be kind of cool if we went and looked at a live cam experience. So if you're on my web class website, which is um, um, class, classroomstream.com, uh, in the uh, Monterey Bay uh, and then Otter uh, Spotter section, you should find this link. If not, you can just copy it down uh, https colon forward slash forward slash www.pscp.tv forward slash w forward slash one rm and then a big G, a big P. A little Z, little R, and big D, little R, big V, big V, little X, and a big N. All right. So that is going to get us to the live cam. Um, because Monterey Bay Aquarium has live cams all over the aquarium. And um, they broadcast out to a Twitter feed. And that's what this is. This is their live Twitter feed. So uh, you can click that. Let me bring up uh, the window for that in just a second. And um, uh, da, 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 da. there we go. So I'm going to go over here right now. There I am. And let me push that over to you guys so that you can see it. Um, I'm going to give it a click right now. And we can watch a little bit of the, it should be the Otters Live at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. All right, let's see what we can see. It's looking quiet, so we know it's not feeding time. I wonder where they are. Hmm, they must be swimming down around the bottom. Did you guys know the Monterey Bay Aquarium is going to reopen in May? I think it was the 4th of May. Um... But uh, there, it says it right up here on the top of the website. We're reopening in May. Oh, what do we see on our screen? Look right there. Now, look how he's, it lays on its back. It holds its hands around its face. And it's just using its back flippers to just kind of glide along. So they are in there. They're swimming around. So today's class, you're going to be looking at the otters, and you're going to be watching like what their behavior is. And um, can we? Oh, he's going off camera. We're going to be watching what their behavior is, what they look like, things they do, and and you'll see that in today's assignment, you're going to be um, noting some of that. There he is. Isn't that adorable? Really cute. Just one foot, just being kind of lazy, just swimming around. 
just having a good laugh, a life. Um, probably having a good laugh too. All right. So, um, let me, uh, bring us back to our otter spotter cam. Just realized, um, I've got some new features in my software and I just realized that you guys couldn't see that, that link. So let me put it up there for you. If you need to, to type that in, let me give you a couple seconds to do that. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm, it's like learning to, to use brand new software again on the day that we're, we're um, presenting. Pretty fun, huh? You thought that just happened to students, but nope, happens to teachers too. All right, so there's your link. And now I would like to come back. Um, back to watching and seeing what we can learn. So the next place we're going to go is into a video. And let me get that video up here on the monitor for you and take you there. All right, so where I am now, I have gone into the Monterey Bay Aquarium to the class that we're in, to the course that we're in, inside the Monterey Bay Aquarium. So you can watch uh, on, on the, the uh, camera. I'm going to play a video for you from there. Um, and um, you, or you can go inside there and watch it yourself. I would say watch it with me now, and then later you can go back and watch it yourself if you need to. And we're going to start working our way through the last part of our coursework. So here we go, and um, you can see that I opened up, I opened up this uh, sidebar so that you could see what we had to do today. So we have the introduction, which is this first video we're going to watch. And then we're going to look at this sea otter behavior checklist. And then there's a, there's a little longer video. I'm not going to play this whole video. I'm going to play a little bit of it. So don't worry about that 12 minutes. Um, this one I'll play for you. It's only two minutes long and it has audio. This one has no audio. So you're, this one's for really for watching, kind of like how we're watching the sea otters live right now. This one's for watching um, and just just um, observing the behavior of the, of the otters. All right, here we go. So let me close this. And we'll go ahead and play this. Oops, now hang on. <laughs> it, it jumped from the video to the next to the next slide. You guys can't see it yet. Here, I'll um I'll show you what I'm so I went to I went to, to play the little video and it, it jumped off the video and now I'm trying to get back. Uh, it's making me crazy today, you guys. Nope. It's not going to let me get back. How about that? There we go. Sea otters are very busy animals. Invite a grown-up to join you in this activity. Together, you'll be observing and counting different sea otter behaviors. Just like a scientist would. Look closely, you might see them rolling or sleeping, playing or eating. You can record the behaviors that you observe by using this checklist, which you can find in the lesson right after this video. Or you can make a table and use tally marks to record how many times you noticed the otters doing these behaviors. You can also count out loud each time you see the otters doing a different behavior. Are you ready to see some busy sea otters? Go to the lesson labeled, What are our otters doing? to see the otters of the Monterey Bay Aquarium.
Have fun observing. Okay, so that we've we've looked a little bit at the live cam, and we've watched that first video. Now we're going to go to the behavior checklist. And when you go to the behavior checklist, this is what you're going to see. And it's going to have like, um, like you just check off inside those, those, like you see the little circle before the word diving and the little circle before the word eating. It's going to have those little bo uh, windows. They're not boxes, they're circles, but that's where you're going to put your check mark. But notice one thing that the very last, the very last box is blank and they're going to be asking you to, uh, to draw something. So we're going to take a look at that. And that means that you're going to either need to, um, hello, you're going to need to print this out or you can open it up in Kami because it's a it's a PDF. And let me show you where you're going to get a copy of this, all right? But you'll be able to go in and actually right here, you'll be uh, drawing either in Kami or you'll print it out and you can just draw inside the box. But you're looking for another behavior besides these five. You want a sixth behavior. All right, let me show you now where to go uh, in to get that. So we're back at the Monterey Bay Aquarium website, and we watched that first video, and now I'm going to click Continue. And when I do that, here it is. So it has brought up that paper for me, and you're going to go up here, right up here in the top right corner, is the download and when you click it you get the option of uh, opening it with Kami or you can download it or you can print it out you choose what you want to do okay I'm gonna give you a, a, a minute to do that why you do that um, let me see what I will do here let me come back to this and then uh, you guys go ahead get that printed out, get something to to draw or write with. Oh my goodness. I think our um, having troubles with my uh, my swimming app keeps crashing. So let me see if I can get it going while you guys do that. There we go. Now it's back. Let me see if I can take us there. Yep, just like that it crashed. Let me, well, you know what? We might not be swimming today. We might just be doing this because it keeps crashing and I'm not sure why. Come on back. 
it's in uh, the page is inside the Monterey Bay um, the course that we're doing so the the link to that is inside our classroom website all right all right let me just bring you back here for a second and I'm going to go all right so I'm back live with um, with the Monterey Bay so um, some of my students are asking like where where do are they you know where does this live where does this page live um, so you have to be inside your um, let me get over here you have to be inside the Monterey Bay uh, Aquarium. Yeah, that's not going to get longer, is it? So you have to be inside the the classroom environment here. And um, okay, so once you have that printed out now we're going to click on continue so second getting us all back to where we need to be my goodness um, so now we're going to move in we're going to move into the otter spotters okay please mute yourself thank you so we're in otter spotters so the question is did you see an otter so right now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a variety of uh, otters. So I'm going to take us into, um, this is inside the Monterey Bay Aquarium course, and this is the video that has no audio. But what they did was they recorded it so you could watch it a, a little bit at your leisure to see what the otters are doing. So you should have that checklist now. So if you see any of the behaviors that are in that checklist, you'll be able to go ahead and check them off. So it looks like they're inside that hole that's in the middle of the rocks, but there's a way for them to, to come out. Oh, look, there they are. They've got tunnels to get around inside there. So what are they doing there? Are they playing or are they, they feeding? Are they sharing food? Or are they just playing with each other? All right, we've got a little bit of a lag going on with the, their video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this because this goes on for like 12 minutes. So you'll be able to come back and watch this later by coming up here and clicking this. And you can see what our otters are doing, that 12 minute video. You can just go click that and watch that. But for right now, I think that uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take us on to looking at more otters. So one of the places that you can go is the Elkhorn Slough, and they also have some um, live cameras. And I'm going to cue that up for you. 
And the links to all of this are in our Google Classroom. So, and the, you can see I have the link here live for you, elkhornslu.org forward slash ottercam forward slash. So if you want to be able to see these uh, for yourself, you can go to the our Google our um, classroomstream.com classroom to the Otter Spotters page. The links are there. The links will be in, in this uh, replay as well if you want to come back to it. So that's where you can find these links. Right now I'm going to take you inside the Elkhorn Slews website so that you can see for yourself kind of what's going on. So they've got a couple of otter cams. And um, I think, yeah, they've got some videos here from, so like if you just want to watch one where they got a really good video, you can do that. But let's try clicking on the otter cam and, and see if it takes us there. There we go. So we're going live to the Elkhorn Slough. Hopefully. And the connection's really slow. All right, let's try the other one. Well, it looks like I may be using too many resources off my computer, so it looks like maybe the best bet is going to be for you guys to go directly there on your own later, and you'll be able to look at the Otter Cams. And like I said, if the Otter Cam's not working for you, you can click here and you'll be able to watch this video. Okie dokie. So. I'm going to bring us, let's see, where am I going to bring us? I'm going to bring us back here to, we've, we've looked at more otters and now we're going to go ahead and click sharing. All right. And so what this is, is uh, we're going to go inside our, um, our unit where we're um, going to take you back into the Monterey Bay, into your your classroom. And we're going to go inside here. All right. So let me continue. Now that you've practiced your sea otter observing skills, it's time to use them to observe other living things. Are there animals that live near you that you see every day? Invite your grown-up to take a walk with you in your neighborhood or to sit with you outside. Find a sit spot where you can safely sit and observe. This is a great time to use your senses to discover if there are any animals nearby. Remember to close your eyes and listen. Breathe in through your nose and smell the air. Look all around. Look up, look down. What are the animals that are near you? Keep your eyes and ears open for birds. They're everywhere. You can take a notebook with you so you can draw your observations and tell your grown up what you observe the animals doing and why you think the animals are doing it. If you need to stay indoors, find a sit spot near a window and be a window scientist. See how many animals pass by your window and notice what they're doing. Pets are great animals to observe. If you have one at home, take some time to notice its behaviors. Why do you think it does what it does? If you have a brother or sister at home, you can observe their behavior. Do you notice them doing the same things that otters do? Have fun observing, Otter Spotters. All 
All right. So I tell you, friends, really what, what we've learned to do is to be observant and watch and watch nature and watch around us, watch other people, other living beings and see how they act. Think about how we act and, and just uh, observe right now, you know, how different are otters from you? What are, you know, do you use your hands to hold things? And have you seen maybe your little brother or sister like holding something and pounding it just like otters do? And when you swim, are you using your feet just like flippers? There's all kinds of different things to, to observe. So inside the Monterey Bay Aquarium website now, I think that we have almost finished. Let's click continue. So you can share by creating a puppet show with your otter puppet and otter food. Show and tell someone in your home about your otter puppet and teach them how to move like an otter. Play dress up and become an otter or one of otter's favorite foods. So these are your share things. These are how you can share what you learned in this class. You've now been to three of them and um, you've learned a whole bunch of stuff about, about sea otters. And now with the Monterey Bay Aquarium opening in May, reopening, um, you could even maybe plan a trip when it's safe to go there. So let's click continue and see what's next. Yay, you finished. So you're going to get <laughs> so cute. Do you think that sea otter's happy? I, I think maybe. Um, I'm just going to sit here and watch that sea otter for like an hour. It's so cute. So now they're going to give us some other learning resources. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Click this button to make the course full screen. Then you'll be guided through each lesson step by step. I think we're back Once at the beginning. Once you've finished a lesson, click, click the complete and continue. I think that's because I already had completed mine, so it, it hopped back to the beginning. But yours should be giving you, once you've gone through all the courses, if you haven't finished them, it's not going to give it to you. But once once you're completed, it's going to give you um, a certificate that you can print out that says that you finished. So congratulations on finishing um, your Otter Spotter course. I think that's absolutely absolutely brilliant very very cool and coming on back to me now thank you so much for joining me today uh, for the last of our otter spotter um, virtual adventures I want to let you know the next time we have a virtual adventure we are going into space it's going to be super cool lots of links lots of, we're going to be looking at lots of things and of course the information for it is going to be in the classroom uh, website classroomstream.com and you'll be able to go there and i'll have all kinds of links and things up for you until then watch our class dojo uh, to my students watch the dojo i'll be posting things about that so we're going to have several classes about space and then there's going to um, the last class we're actually having um, someone special from NASA is coming to visit us. So you're definitely going to want to watch um, the next series of, of virtual adventures. But until then, um, I will see you guys later. And have a great day. Bye, friends.